Hey everybody, welcome to today's video. Today's video is the last video before we disassemble the engine. And today we are doing the leak down test to determine if the oil burning is related to something mechanical or if it's the oil rings or the valve guides which wouldn't show up on a compression test or a leak down test. The reason why we're doing this is I suspect the compression and everything will be good. But Articat with the 650 H1 engines is known for the oil rings to fail and cause high oil consumption. So let's get started and see what we can figure out what the issue is. So what we're going to use is this OTC cylinder leakage tester kit which I've used before on my Jeep and other things which so far seems to work really well. Now with the Articat 650 H1 engine there was a recoil on it that I have removed. So if you're doing this with the engine and the quad there's a couple ways you could do this. You can remove this port right here, turn it over by hand to top dead center. However, you're going to have a 50-50 chance because top dead center on the compression stroke is when the valves up top stop moving when it's coming up. But if you don't want to go about removing these inspection ports, you can turn this around once and turn it around again, test it both times. You'll figure it out. But for my purposes, I'm just going to remove these ports. One of the first things you need to do is to remove the spark plug. We need to remove the inspection plug. Holy crap. That's in there tight. Tight. Sometimes you gotta use a hammer to bust it free. So now we are ready to do the leak down test. The plug is removed. You can see the line there and you can see the line right here that you have to line up. Actually this has to be, maybe turn just to see here back. But another way you could tell, because it's kind of hard to watch for that mark, plus watch the valves at the same time. But once you're at top dead center, your intake valves will be relaxed. There'll be a little bit of play in them. And your exhaust valves will have a little bit of play as well. Because this is the compression stroke, so no valves will be opened or closed. And I can actually see down in the hole down there to see that the uh, piston is up at the top. Feed that into the spark plug hole and gently twist it until it tightens up. Well, let's see what happens now. Oh my god! Well, let's see what the inspection camera can dig up. See, what's that on the intake side of the valve? So before I end this video, I'm gonna show you guys this. The head's still on this one, but just as reference, you guys can see this is an intake valve that I have removed. Can you have a good look at it right down there. The valve spring, the two little keepers, and that's the seal. You guys can have a look, think about it, and leave your answer in the description what you think. Why air is leaking out from the intake valves. Well that was interesting. I really don't know at this point in time what to tell you guys. There could be numerous things that I think that could be wrong. Why is it leaking out the intake valves? Could be intake valves are bent. It could be the intake valves are so full of carbon that they're not seating properly. Who knows at this point? I won't know until I get it apart, have a look at it. But I want to know what you guys think could be the issue. Leave your comments in the description and we're going to get to this right away. So if you guys have any questions or comments, post them below. Otherwise, I want to thank you guys for watching.